Ever since the dawn of civilization, trade has inspired communities to engage with each other. And at the heart of this global reciprocity lies India, offering one of the oldest known free trade networks for the merchants of both East and West. With rapid expansion in the global trade at the turn of 17th century began the era of modern banking and capital markets as investors formed enterprises and shared their ventures, risks and profits. However, in a lucrative but uncertain marketplace, capital raising and investor protection needed to go hand in hand. And hence, markets were organized into stock exchanges. India experienced her share of economic evolution in 1875 with setting up of the Bombay Stock Exchange and the commencement of trading in commodity derivatives. Similar exchanges were constituted in the other parts of the country. New legislative measures were brought to manage business and aid Indian industries post-independence. Four landmark legislations came into force to regulate the stock markets. While Indian capital markets evolved and geared up for globalization in the 1980s, they also suffered from several shortcomings. To tackle these issues and ensure a healthy growth of capital markets, a separate board for the regulation of stock exchanges and the securities industries was set up by the Government of India in 1988. SEBI was born. Gaining autonomy in 1992, SEBI transformed the market policy from a control-based regime to a disclosure-based regime. A fully automated, demutualized, electronic and order-driven exchange followed next, bringing in a much-desired competition to accelerate the process of development and reforms. With world-class depositories and dematerialization of securities, SEBI rid investors of bad delivery, frauds and delays associated with physical securities. The initiative also made settlement mechanism more efficient and transparent, paving a path for nationwide trading, mutual funds regulations, new FPI regulatory regime and introduction of derivative products by SEBI led to massive investments from all quarters in recent times. In 2014, the Government of India strengthened the SEBI by providing additional powers that further enhanced the Indian regulator's enforcement capabilities. SEBI now kept a sternal vigil over the market to maintain market integrity and protect investors. A journey of almost three decades has seen SEBI emerge as one of the most effective and respected regulators in the world. Yet, to complete this journey towards developing a world-class securities and commodities exchange mechanism, SEBI needed an extensive network of knowledgeable and trustworthy market professionals. To meet the challenge, the Government of India authorized SEBI to set up an institute for teaching and training intermediaries in the securities markets and promoting research. And thus, National Institute of Securities Markets came into being. NISM has six schools of excellence that offer five full-time and part-time academic programs, 22 certifications and numerous specialized training programs to continuously reskill existing professionals to meet the requirements of the dynamic marketplace. NISM's financial literacy campaigns have initiated a silent revolution across the country and have tremendously improved general public's awareness about banking, investments and personal finance. To create a financially aware and empowered India, NISM has been entrusted to implement the National Strategy for Financial Education. But to meet the growing demands of an expanding capital market of an emerging economy, the existing infrastructure of NISM was not enough. With all the support from Government of Maharashtra, which included an allotment of 70 acres of land, NISM took a quantum leap by setting up a new, state-of-the-art campus at Patal Ganga, located along Mumbai-Pune Expressway. Funded by SEBI, 
the new NISM campus is a sustainable green campus and boasts of all modern facilities to foster exchange of ideas, conducting cutting-edge research and inspire dialogue across industries and countries. With this new campus, NISM stands uniquely poised to become an institution that would not only serve financial markets in India, but also the other developing markets of SARC, Middle East and Africa.